Greetings everypony, this is FNGR, and this is Kichi, the first place winner of Analysis Daily's first analysis and review contest. As you can clearly see, this is the art that she received for her first place. As well as the fact that Silverco was gracious enough to come on for this special King of Limbo. I would encourage you to go check out Kichi's video where she lovingly kicks Silverquill in the face after winning. As well as the latest analysis daily that shows Silverquill coming on the show. With two minutes of unaired footage. If you were a reviewer or analyst with recent content, it would behoove you to go check that channel out. As you might be able to have your own show with horse famous personalities. Please enjoy the podcast and don't forget to like and subscribe. Really appreciate this, Silver. Appreciate it. Oh, sure thing. It's like it's a goddamn big affair that I go to my fridge. I put the fucking coke on upside down. I don't know why. P please forgive Solar Flare. He's a Marine. <laughs> <laughs> this is FNGR welcoming you all to Limbo Podcast, but the following co hosts Solar Flare, Rah! Secret Dreamer, Hello, Silver Quill. I'm just here for the food. And this week's Queen of Limbo, and as well as the defending reigning champion of Analysis Daily, Kichi. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Otherwise known as Blacklight. Indeed. <laughs> so, who would like to lead out? Uh, I want to know about this uh, AKA Blacklight. <laughs> if I shine you over a wall, will a secret message appear? There is, a, there is an interesting story behind that. Well, not really all that interesting. Basically, we decided that I was the Black Twilight, so we combined it and called me Blacklight. Oh, I see. So you blame the Black Twilight. <laughs> 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 How long did it take for you to actually put together that quick uh, a semi animation? I guess you'd call it the uh, the, the, the your acceptance speech video. Oh, that took one day because I already had <clears> it mapped <throat> out in my head. <laughs> so you, you you Super Bowl shuffled it basically, kind of like the yeah, fair. pretty much. Like, you I'm pretty planned to kick Silver Quill. You already <laughs> planned. <that. laughs> she had I mean... this mapped out on a calendar for like three months in advance. She's like, oh yeah, yeah. I'm taking you. Not three months. Yeah, bitch. I thought you were gonna go with six. Yeah, I have a poster of Silver Quill with darts on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> Join the club. That's question. like half the fandom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is the story behind your current picture? Who who made that and for what reason? We all know who made it, but let's just have her say it. <laughs> well, for I the don't hell know who it. made it, so deal with it. <laughs> Um, well, her Skype name is Princess Molestia, though I will preface this is not the actual Princess Molestia, but she is pretty darn close. Well, 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 who is, in your opinion, the actual VA Molestia, the hands-down quintessential reigning champion since you brought that up? Considering this is the only one I've met, I'd say this one. Yes, of course <laughs> she is, because I'm having her on next week. <laughs> <laughs> She has become yes. Limbo's essentially go-to voice actress because she does pretty much anything. She she hey, had, she did fuck me. She, no, she did Granny Smith reading Fifty Shades of Grey. Sister, stand the fuck down. <laughs> never asked. I'm just trying to picture Granny Smith reading Fifty Shades of Grey. What in the hell are they doing? No. Oh no, trust me. Well, this woman had it hands older, down. I was laughing do. my ass off. It's something you need to hear. Yes. Yes, it is very much. Well, I, I noticed that you have an, an affinity for villains and as well as anime. Who's your favorite villain in anime, Kichi? Pretty much all the villains that I like turn into good guys at the end. So I guess for now, I'll say Vegeta. He was my favorite villain until he turned into a good guy. He's <laughs> <laughs> then essentially not a villain anymore, so, you know. Yeah, yeah all, the guy, all the good villains turn into good guys. Who's your uh, favorite American villain in Western animation, then? From Avatar. Bald guy. Who, no, the bald guy who pretty much almost killed Korra. No, I'm trying to remember. Oh, god damn. Oh my god. Dark Lord Headgleam. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's go with that. Dark yeah, Lord, Lord Headgleam. <laughs> the one and only Dark Lord Headgleam. Kichi yeah. Nemesis. You when you said the bald, bald guy, I thought you were talking about Burning Donut. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense, I guess. No, out of all the bald people I know, he is pretty low on the totem pole. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Ouch, shots fired. You, you, have, you, have, have, <clears throat> you have not had a long, hard road, Kishi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, save the talk about long and hard for Princess Molestia. Oh, damn. Okay, now I we got see Super Cool taking shit. <laughs> yeah. Neither yeah, did anybody so else. <laughs> Who has the tackiest looking OC in the fandom? You are baiting me right now. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't That's know who you're going to say with that. Yeah? That is a loaded question. You that fucking know it. That is a loaded it. question. Well, fu well, I mean, by Kichi standards, I mean those highly evolved standards that, you know, exceed mere mortals. Well, you know, I have to say, I absolutely hate OCs with bulging eyes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's not... Even with that fucking telescopic eye, you had to have seen that coming. <laughs> Trust me. Oh, and you I can't have mere that's... mortal eyes, and I saw it coming. Um, If you were to take over America, Kichi, as you're clearly going for supervillain status, why would you or wouldn't you bother with Canada? I would bother with Canada because it's easy. Okay. All I had to do is, is bribe them with maple syrup. They'll be fine. Okay, then. And bacon. And bacon. The views yes. and the expressions of my co-host do not respect <laughs> reflect the views. Reflect the pond by myself, perhaps? Yes. Solar, we don't care that you're dying in the background. <laughs> I'm not dying in the background anymore. I have air in my lungs once again. I, it was recently filled with Just coke. because a little cough almost took you out of action, we're sorry, you know. <laughs> All I know is once again I'm in Canada's crosshairs. Why does this keep happening? <laughs> If you could bring back See, one show that was canceled, Kichi, what would it be and why? I would bring back the good Teen Titans. Okay. <laughs> okay. I would say that too. Even though it ended, I guess, on a relatively good note, I would just like to see it come back. At least it didn't end prematurely like certain shows, <clears throat> Samurai Jack. Oh, but, God. You brought that one up too. What's well, coming I mean, back? I mean, hey, it is yeah, coming back. back so. It is coming back, so I'm excited for that one. Took them long oh, yeah. enough. But yeah, I'd say the good Teen Titans. I would bring that back. No, I'm, I'm going to play with this formula for the, the next one. Think of the worst. What's what's a terrible animation you'd like to see someone talented review? For example, if if you were Silver Quill's boss, what horrible animation would you make him review if you were pissed you, off? You, at? you mean I'm not? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, last I checked, uh, it says Kichi now owns Silver Quill. Once, okay, once again, okay. I forget to check the fine print. When, when you download uh, the new version of iTunes, you always have to check for the Kichi clause. No, I, <laughs> I just figure, make me the human sense iPad, why not? But I get, <laughs> but I get front space. So okay. Okay. What's, what's your what's your favorite bad animation then, Kichi? We'll keep it simple. Favorite bad animation. So that's or... you know, bad. That's just you know it still it still has a fondness in your heart for watching it. The first thing that comes to mind is Crayon Shin Chan. <gasps> I, I know. <laughs> I love it, but it's crap animation. Yeah. Yes, or... Shin Chan is pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, it is I mean, so I I love awesome. it. I love watching it. I love the show, but it's still crap animation. <laughs> well, have you? Did you see it? Like before they took off the air, they actually made the animation better. They lo it looks much cleaner and less like a five year old drew it. Probably not. I, I I'll, I'll show it to you later. I used to have it on DVD, and then I had to get rid of my DVDs. But I'll show you later. It's right. it's okay. absolutely beautiful. What do you find intellectually stimulating? I know that's not perverted. Other than me, a good conversation. You know, it's kind of hard to find in today's world. I, I just like being able to talk about something seriously for more than five minutes without it being railroaded into some nonsense. Well, who who does that best for you in this fandom that you've talked to? Keep in mind, you will be shipped with that person almost immediately. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the Anthony clause. I <laughs> the fifth. Okay, that's pastel prose. What are your thoughts on... Do you have any thoughts on furries? I don't care for them. I'm going to skip over <laughs> my question about other kin then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's your least favorite fandom? I know no one is going to know what I'm talking about, but certain fan K-pop fandoms. Oh, they, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I actually know what you're talking about. I'm surprised. Like, people don't know. Oh, everyone knows. Yeah, they call them Sasang fans or Sasang fans or something like that. Yeah, basically, really crazy stalker fangirls. I Those have are, no I idea what you're talking about. Is that part of the, the idol fan base or something like that? Yeah, sort of. How's your thoughts on uh, Bernie changed in the past year? Well, honestly, in the past year, that's when I actually started getting into the Brony Phantom. I watched the show before, but I'd never got into the analysis part or any of the online communities or anything like that. I actually got into this fandom from watching people like Silver Quill, Anthony C., Josh Scorcher. Hmm. <laughs> I am the gateway drug. <laughs> 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 oh, you have no idea. You have no idea. I am idea. the Alpha and the Omega. I am Silver Quill and your yep. second banana to Kichi now. <laughs> <laughs> he caused his own downfall. Pride goeth before a fall, I suppose. Oh, I was going to say, who do you have left to kick in the face after Silver Quill? I wasn't going to expect him to be in the call when I wrote that down. <laughs> Please, not me. I'll be your best friend. Who do I have left to kick in the face? <laughs> Since it worked out so well this time, you know, if you could get Anthony C on here, I wouldn't be, I would not mind kicking him in the face. I could, <laughs> oh my I god, could, I, I like could blow him up in a nuclear wounds, explosion huh? if that'll make him get on the podcast. Oh my god, let's see. I am not above that. I have a bunch of inappropriate questions about the main six. I'm just going to go with them. Which of the main six do you feel is most likely to get a DUI? Rainbow Dash. <laughs> 
pretty sure exactly. everyone would think was thinking pretty Rainbow much, Dash. Pretty much standard. Or Applejack, one of the two. Yeah, yeah. Um, you asked me this last when we had my podcast, and it got me thinking. Wait, Applejack might be more likely because she has the actual access to the cider. That's true. So she, she can drink as much as she wants. Exactly. <laughs> So you you appreciate the mentally advanced version of Applejack where she's an alcoholic. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kichi, would you roll Pinky? Would I roll Pinky? It's it's a it's it gets a mentally advanced if you've ever heard Rainbow Dash present or yeah, Flim Flam Flossities. Rainbow Dash presents where Pinky's like dying of diabetes and she's asking Rainbow Dash to shove her off the bridge. Roll Pinky. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh yeah, when you show me that, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a really funny video. Hmm? So yes, yes I would. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. In a heart, Excellent. in a heartbeat. No holds barred. MLP. If I am, who's 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 the the most obnoxious character in MLP? Actually, think Cadence is the most obnoxious character. Woo! Really? All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can I can I can dig this. Go on. She's obnoxiously nice. When you get big and, enough, you'll be yeah. shipped with her for that. <laughs> <laughs> Artist, you have a new task. Get on it. Yes, when I'm actually relevant, I'll be shipped with people. Well, I think this is going to be a pretty big signal boost, so... It's the angriest you've ever been in your life. Let's let's go back to high school, Kichi, for a moment. <laughs> I'm waiting for the day where I get a guest who's like, I've never been angry in my life. Okay, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> If you're no, not going to take I'll this seriously. So there was this guy. Let's just call him Fuckface. Okay. He was the type who always called the girls around uh, around the school and tried to get attention and all this other crap. And he made the mistake of stealing my Pikachu hat. No. Like, like he just gagged it off your head or just like stole it? Yeah, and I was not having a good hair day. <laughs> okay, here's a question. Here's a question. Did he bleed? Was it like one of those run by yank yoinks or? It was sort of a run by yank slash shove, and it was in front of uh my crush at the time, sent me reeling, and let's just say he he uh, chipped a tooth that day. So yeah, he did bleed. Good for you. Good for <laughs> you. <laughs> did I? I didn't have good anger issues back then. That's okay. We love you for it. My my mental note is if you're wearing a hat at Bernie Con, I should have one of my minion joink it, not me. All right then, got that right. <laughs> probably outrun. <laughs> Just your just and you'll be good. I do. I do have three, three, three hats that I have to proclaim at BronyCon. Let's see: box monsters, box toon critics hat. Now, whatever's on Kichi's head. I'm just not. Gonna, I am not going to wear a hat just because of that. Aw, you're gonna, you're gonna okay, wear a replica of your OC's mane. That's what you're gonna wear. I'm yeah, gonna yoink you. it. Oh yeah, if you yoink it, you will die. Yeah, but yeah. I cannot run you though, so it's fine. No, you can't. <laughs> Okay, I'm a U.S. Marine. I can outrun you. Let's I just was on, that. I was on track team. Come She's at me, bro. Black woman, she can chase you down and beat you the hell up. Indeed. You Let's run with go. body armor on. Yeah, enough about you. We're talking about me. Yes, yes. <laughs> Stop acting. Oh, okay, I'm third banana now. God. What? In Brony, who's your your favorite victim, Kichi? My favorite victim? Yeah. Who do you like to screw with the most in you know the Brony fandom? I find it funny that you you have no problem swearing in the background, but I get to one of my ignorant questions and it's too much. She's no, it's just selecting her list of targets. She has too many. I know. I I really do. <laughs> It's like, I have to pull up the Google Doc to fucking narrow this shit down. Well, you know, recently I was messing with, uh, with Silverquill a lot. But a lot. Th- but that's I wonder one, why. One poll is a lot. A lot for me. <laughs> oh, damn. Nice. He called you out. Mm, you're going to take that? <laughs> he did. I, I'm sorry. What was that? Number two? <laughs> Oh, and I just want to number two then. I just want to say that this persona was created during limbo calls, and we decided to run with it. Just want a disclaimer on that. <laughs> You're gonna want to keep running. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll, we'll give this a shot here, and hopefully everyone says yes, so I can ask this question. Have you caught the new Star Wars movie, everyone? So we can talk about it. Yes. I didn't hear any no's. Have I? Yes. So we don't mm. ruin it for you. I'm asking you, have I? Yes. I, well, I have. I don't know if you have. I don't think Solar's cool enough to say it. I said. Okay, I, better. I'll better hear. question. Does anyone here care about spoilers? Not dun, really. Dun, dun. All right then, Kichi. What okay. did you think about the the new Star Wars film? I enjoyed it. I didn't care much for the Mary Sue. Kylo yeah, Ren was kind Mary of a letdown after he took off his helmet. Oh, you don't care for the Amber Crombie zombie look? No. <laughs> you like your Sith Lords with scars? Yes. <laughs> Pale faces. <laughs> well, we know what to get Kichi for her birthday. Well, you she know? does have that Harley Quinn dress up and she likes the scars. I'm assuming she likes the uh, Heath Ledger look. Oh, Harley. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I always enjoy my villains in a mask. It's just my thing. What's your opinion on the survivability of stormtroopers? You know, they actually did hit a few people in this movie, so yeah, they're once. doing a little—they're doing a little bit better. Yeah, they only hit them because they stood still. 
Which would you rather be, a stormtrooper or a red shirt? Ooh. <laughs> mm, tough question there, I, isn't it? I guess stormtrooper because at least they have armor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, loaded question once again. Now that I think about okay. it. Okay, okay, I actually do have a question. Okay, yeah. Kichi, which is better, Star Wars or Star Trek? Oh God. Oh baby. Duck and Hang cover. on, I gotta get my fucking flack for this one because there's about to be <laughs> hellfire and damnation up in this bitch. Hang on a second. Talk about loaded question. Well, tell tell you what, I'll I'll do a setup here. Make sure that I, we don't litter off the hook here. What are your thoughts on J.J. Abrams? Let's go back to the first question. Okay. <laughs> All right, all right. Star like Wars or Star Trek, then? I actually do prefer Star Wars, mainly because I once witnessed my mom doing some sort of a mating dance from Star Trek, and it scarred me for life. Um, wait, <laughs> I'm sorry, do what now? She did a some sort of a mating dance Did you walk in on something between... No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Please tell me you were playing Game of Charades no. or something. No, I, I challenged her on her Star Trek checkiness and she did some sort of a weird dance and i decided not to watch it from then on <laughs> i was going so to say me that she shook your faith i was going to say i feel sorry for you but then you said you challenged her. i was like okay you walked into that one does your mom speak klingon she does <laughs> oh baby oh. <laughs> that got some kinky and shit. believe me these are things that i did not know about her until that day so much like I say often in Limbo, is this knowledge that you could have gone your entire life without knowing? That is knowledge I could have gone without. Marvelous. What Come on, th- who doesn't want to see their mom dancing? Yo. <laughs> 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 Quiet down, sack of banana. This isn't about you. <laughs> What's, how do you how do you feel about Disney, Kichi? I like Disney. Is there any pre- animation else? Pixar, DreamWorks? Um, in recent years, I'd say my favorite one was Big Hero Six. Mm-hmm. I, I like enjoyed, that. One. I enjoyed Beta Ma- Baymax. He was my favorite. Beta Max. <laughs> uh, every time I say Betamax, I don't know why. Isn't it Betamax? No, it's, no, it's Baymax. Baymax. It's Baymax. Okay, my mistake. Yeah, Betamax, <laughs> just cardboard clad cousin. <laughs> <laughs> just sounds like IMAX, but Beta. And I'm looking forward to The Incredibles like everyone else is. Hell yeah. Yes. Oh my god, all the... Uh... I keep forgetting that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna oh, be a thing. Yeah. And who wants to bet that the super suit uh, joke is gonna be in there somewhere? It better be. It's actually, actually, I'm not. I'm not so sure because it's probably going to be one of those things where it was fucking brilliant the first time, and then the second time you're just like, oh my god, just. I stop. guarantee they're going to put some sort of reference in there somewhere. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it'd be nice for at least nostalgic reasons. I guess. What's your favorite time killer? Talking in limbo calls. <laughs> What's the most expensive thing you've ever lost or broken? Ring my parents got me for my birthday. I was waiting for you to say your heart, but okay. Wait till you say your sanity. Well, you no, know, those things don't have a price tag. Yeah. Well, you, <laughs> yeah. How much was that? Mostly rate? because they don't exist. Woo! Shots fired. Ow. Call it revenge for kicking him in the face. <laughs> how, how much was the ring? It was about $400. Oh my god. Holy guacamole. Yeah. What? If you're Kichi's fiance, keep in mind save that money for the, from the engagement ring for something bigger. I was too I was too young for for such bling. Though now I'm pretty sure someone stole it because I was in school and it just kind of disappeared. Oh uh, yeah, that kind of shit happens all the time. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I think that's what happened to it because I was just like, this thing never comes off of my finger. What happened? Okay, so person, if you're ever watching this and you see her, run. I yeah. still remember what the ring looks like, and it was a custom-made ring, so... Oh, All right. Yeah, so if you ever see her, run. Do you have any favorite animated characters? I'd say my favorite animated character... Herself after the Christmas video she made? Yes, other than myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with this. Head I'd say my favorite the- animated character would Bash from Bash the Stampede. He is my all-time <gasps> favorite. Yes. I think you gave that same answer, didn't you, Secret? No! Oh my gosh, who did I say my favorite character? Oh my god, I don't I, even I could remember. swear you were the one I remember asking, going, Oh, who's your favorite gung-ho gun? Since I think oh, you said Vash. Uh, yeah. Oh, I either said Vash or I said Bike from Cowboy Bebop. I can't remember. It'll it'll be oh, on the podcast. Too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mention him. I don't remember, but if I didn't, then then I'm changing my answer to Spike from Cowboy. Bebop. Well, Spike was very good. I, I even though he wasn't a villain, I still I enjoyed Spike happy. very much. He's, he's just good because he's freaking amazing. Well, he's I'll an anti-hero sort of, isn't he? Exactly. Yeah, what's that's your, true. What's your favorite drink? I don't really drink. 
So I, I only recently... No, no, you, it, any any uh, drink. Yeah, not even water. Oh, my God. Hydrate, woman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who needs water? I put away orange juice. Oh, yeah, God, you're becoming quiet, aren't you? Mm. For Metal Gear. <laughs> you absorb things from your skin. Do not have a pointless posing scene. Oh, great. Mm. Well, what am I talking about? You're an anime fan. Po- posing. It's 90%. one of our things. It's fabulous. Of... You, you have your less. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're a, a, a an animator of sorts. Uh, do you hold uh, hand drawn animation in a high regard? Oh yes, because it is so much harder to draw everything by hand mm. and actually have it look the same than it is just copy pasting a pose onto another pose and just and altering it a bit. And this is coming from someone who's tried both. Tell me about it. I mean, what? they're both difficult, but. I'd say hand drawing is harder. Definitely. Actually, hand drawing is much easier than uh, animating. We don't argue with the guest. <laughs> <laughs> you are love you still deal with it? Are you <laughs> questioning my authority? Yes. No, Respect you love me. my authority. <laughs> well, I should have. I usually have like co-hosts that are ready to go, but then I was like, okay, I need to grab whoever I can get first here because I thought it was terribly funny. But now I screwed myself with that. What's something as an uh, an artist that you won't do? I don't draw terribly grotesque pictures. Such as... You don't see that we don't have to go into that. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. We, we, can, we can picture it. You're, Smile you're right. HD. Yeah, there you go. That was <laughs> there you go. bad. What YouTube channels interest you? I enjoy watching gaming channels like Jacksepticeye, like news channels like SourceFed, even though that's kind of loosely defined as a news channel. I also like animator called Black Sin. He's pretty good. And of course, Death Battle and everything wrong with stuff like that. Do you have any specific Death Battles that grind your gears? Yeah, any ones that bother you? You're like, oh, that's BS. <laughs> did not enjoy the Goku versus Superman outcome. <laughs> uh, how did I know that was fucking coming? Did, did not exactly? enjoy it. Even though I have to agree, I still didn't like it. <laughs> oh, well, why exactly? You have successfully countered my argument, but there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> I had a, the best argument I heard for that is, is, let me get this straight, he powered up to the next level and, and he started losing worse. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much what I was thinking the whole time. I was just like, I do not like this at all. This sucks. Stupid <laughs> death, <laughs> Stupid okay, death well, battle. On the topic of death battles, what would the what would the Deadpool movie come out? I'm curious. What did you think of the Deadpool death battle? Oh, I, I enjoyed like that. That, one. that, that was a great one. Do you agree with the outcome is my question. Oh, yeah. Yes. I think I that you and I are still friends. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You realize, even if Deadpool had somehow lost, he probably would have just, like, reached through the fucking screen, fucking killed the animator, and then changed the shit. It's like, oh, no, I still won. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah I can see fun. that. Because that's what he does. Yeah. It is well within his rights and abilities to do so. I think we blew through everything. This happened. No, not already. Yeah, I know. I was thinking this I'm having thing. too much fun here. Ask some of those questions you took off. <laughs> I already, in the middle of it, I ran through, like, all the ones I prepared for Kichi, so I opened up a second one, and I was like, okay, <laughs> let me, I'll find a third script. Hopefully it's different enough. Um, Silver Quill, do you have any questions for the great and powerful Kichi? Yeah, well, I, I, I might, but uh, I'll just have to settle for the Kichi that's in front of me. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> ah, right, so- there, second banana. Don't get too out of place. Red one, quiet. Easy, dude. You, you're you going to run out of the same joke. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I ran out of the same joke halfway through. I'm surprised it carried me this far. All right. <laughs> Stay, stay strong, son. But okay. Stay strong, my son. Okay, okay, Miss Anime Otaku esque person. Sasuke, Uchi- Sasuke Uchiha opinion. He exists. <laughs> I think I, I, I think okay. he was just I feel like I'm missing something there. Would you care to elaborate? He is one of the most overrated characters. I don't like him. He's just What's he from? Naruto. Naruto. The, the oh. seventh circle. Oh sorry. <laughs> well, now, now I have now I have another question. Thank I you. Just, so- um, I, I hate him almost as much as I hate Sakura. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We shall get along splendidly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank She'll you, Silver. I, you brought up another question. What do you think of the sequel to Shippuden where they're, they have their own families and all that, all that stuff? I haven't up. seen it. No, it's coming up. Like, no. what do you think of the idea? I think it's more of a cash grab because they don't want to let that Naruto money train go. And I'm probably not going to watch it. What's your field of study? Well, in college, I study Japanese as my focus of study. And my actual major is called foreign language and in international trade. It sounds very fancy, but it's actually just a long way of saying a business slash language major. And now I'm a secretary. Yay, college. <laughs> well, at least you're doing something with your life. Yeah. <laughs> that sounded you can speak little... another language. That's good enough. You sounded a little depressed when you said that. Oh, no. I just 
had a slight peek into reality for a split second, but now I'm back. <laughs> hey, you can speak another language and you can draw. Be happy. Reality is a cold place. Bring a coat. Who online <laughs> would you still like to meet? Would I still like to meet? I would still like, I would actually like to meet someone you hate. Oh. Just out Haven't of principle. Haven't you done that already? You're going to have to narrow like that down. Several times. <laughs> Starts with a W. W. Oh, oh okay. Come on. Uh-huh. <clears throat> oh, I think I know. You're, you're allowed to. I prefer you didn't point The World out. Wildlife Foundation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, okay. yeah I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that. I could actually I'll arrange be- that, believe it or not, <laughs> Peachy. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably try and get that along. Let's see, what are the channels? Morbid curiosity. It's like, why do you exist? Do you have any uh, channels that you follow for anime analysis? Actually, no. I, I've never gotten into the anime analysis sort of deal. Hmm. I just kind of watch stuff that I like to watch, and I'm not too much interested in in what other people think about anime. What? How could you not follow the great and powerful Digibro? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I am finding out there's more people than just Digi who do that. But anyways, what? what <laughs> what drew you? It's just in other people exist that review anime. Yeah. No what, way. What drew you to horse analysis then? Actually, it was an accident. I was looking up random videos about MLP, and I came across ironically enough i love kim possible a lot and after about five seconds i went to a related video and started looking at that oh so you got to that side of youtube huh yeah i just kind (laughs) of i was like oh this is interesting i think i eventually got into watching digibro tommy oliver the um old school you know bronies i guess you could say and just kind of went from there is there any one from the old school that you kind of miss that isn't like doing it anymore besides the two obvious ones i I miss tommy's Mm. video i do miss digis miss (laughs) anthony says even though he's kind of sort of still makes stuff yeah kind of well he's always been that he's always been the christmas one or something yeah Yeah. for a minute there i thought you were calling him miss digi it's like well (laughs) (laughs) well he does have that wig you know the I, I fried out for names. a minute picturing him as a real 63. With the, oh, good I, Lord. I imagine it would, still, you get that image in my mind. it would still have the beard. You will wake up <laughs> screaming tonight. Indeed. Yes, I will. Here's, How here, dare you, Anthony? I didn't need sleep anyways. Here's, Thanks, buddy. Yeah, here's here's one I know I should have written down for KG. What tropes in anime do you find the most tiresome? Um, I hate the tropes where the girl falls in love with literally the first guy she meets. That is a jerk to her. Hate the tropes where friendship is, is power. <laughs> <laughs> so the My Little Pony trope. How the hell did you get an MLP with that? <laughs> you know, that's a good question. Say it with me, boys and girls. Irony! I mean, more like in the um, shonen anime where there's the main character who is outclassed and then he believes in his friends and then he gets more power and then he beats the enemy so and then finds MLP. someone even more powerful and yada, yada, yada. So it's okay as long as MLP's doing it. Gotcha. Well, you so know what? That's saying a- that only MLP can do it. Got it. Yeah, only MLP can do it. There you go. I still watch it. What's your favorite movie genre? Comedy. Oh, any specific comedians that leap out at you? Ben been really into Kevin Hart lately. Yeah, Kevin Hart's pretty good. I like I him. Think he was good like in uh, Ride Along. He he was good in that movie. I haven't seen Ride Along yet. Oh, you should. I, I recommend it. Is it good? Oh, yeah, it's pretty fucking funny. Okay. I could give spoilers, but I don't think I'm going to do that. It's, it, yeah. it's best just watch it for the first it, time. In movies, I'm into Kevin Hart, but it's just d- general stand-up comedians. I'm into uh, Gabriel Iglesias. I enjoy him. Hey! Uh, very good, very good, very good. Okay, my question. Favorite genre and least favorite genre of movie or book? See, I don't read. <laughs> <laughs> See, see, I, let me let me explain something to you, Secret Dreamer. There's a reason I keep asking that question. It's just to screw with people. There's, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> the only reason I ask about books is so people can all feel bad, and it makes you know Cloud feel a little bad every time someone <laughs> says read. <laughs> I do it. Jokes on you. I happen to read books. <laughs> what is this read you you were talking about? Well, I thought you're, you're, you you could have had Robin's response to comic books count. Well, of course, comic books count. So you know. Oh well, yeah, I do read a lot of manga. I do. No, that. that counted. Yeah, that counts. Yeah, yeah. As, long as, as long as you didn't answer with fan fiction, you're okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I was totally <clears throat> prepared to laugh after saying that. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about movie? I hate horror movies. Oh, how dare you! I don't like scared. Like, like you don't like the concept, or are you just scared of them? Like what's I the, can't, what's the? I cannot do horror movies. My imagination is way too vivid. Okay, so you're, oh, okay, so you're scared sense. of them. Yep. So what's your favorite? I'm not a fan not... of Wind of a Cry or any animes like that. Uh, nope, not really. <laughs> 
That's unfortunate. Well, in that case, I do have one last one I think I could bust. Are you looking forward to Suicide Squad? Yes. 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 Did you see that I commercial am. where they did fucking what they did with uh, Bohemian Rhapsody? Oh my god, it was so good. Wait, I'm sorry, do what now? Yeah, the, the, Suicide, yeah, the Suicide Squad, they did a commercial and it had like Bohemian Rhapsody playing in the back. It was just fucking You're great. You're kidding. No, just uh, look it up. Just, like, YouTube. Look up. just click on any YouTube video now. It's the it's the only advertisement on there. <laughs> I didn't see any advertisement earlier that implies we have to turn our advertisement blocks off yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it's, it's insanity you, you, you watch it the first time ad block plus what the fuck how dare you interrupt the great and powerful silver quill i mean kichi what it, but it's funny you, you you watch one video with a commercial it's like oh my god that's so awesome and then five video watches later yes this is the real life now shut up <laughs> This was the real life the first time. Now it's getting tiresome. Okay, Kichi, if you had to kick Silver Quill all over again, would you do it? <laughs> yes, I w of course I would. <laughs> Where would Where you would kick you? him? And would Where? you kiss at the spot later? Oh, baby. Oh, my. Oh, oh my. <laughs> so that gets you on another podcast. Uh. All right, well, artists, you have a new ship. <laughs> silver key i approve oh my well you might get me confused with keyframe then okay silver chi there you go silver key Quilchy. that sounds like indigestion <laughs> i feel a little quilchy right now give me some, give me some alka seltzer well that's probably her opinion on it anyway so <laughs> well you did not i was gonna Everyone... say quilchy sounds very asian <laughs> <laughs> I speak Japanese. So everyone knows that I ship with myself. Hence the picture. Hence yes. the great and powerful Kichi. I am Silver Quill. Wait, what? The great and powerful Silver Chi. Well, <laughs> again, I've blown through three question lists trying to find appropriate questions. Appropriate. <laughs> yes. Kichi, you care if they're appropriate. Too bad. Yes, because <laughs> we really care about being appropriate right now. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll look up one more. <laughs> It's oh, very it's... prim and proper. Since when do you care about what's morally right? Let's be let's be honest here. Uh, I just noticed that the conversation is called Quilchy now. <laughs> <laughs> Courtesy of yours truly, by the way. Indeed. Thank you very much. The last time I was here, you cast me into the great unknown. Howling and screaming <laughs> in the dark. Day. Well, that's that's a typical Tuesday for me. Well, this this podcast was a lot less awkward than I thought it was going to be. Why? What were you expecting? I was expecting it to be awkward. I thought I went over that. That doesn't really... Okay, like, whatever. Like, how awkward? Like, hearing your mom did a sexy dance awkward, or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how are you going to beat that? This is probably yeah. I would put this in the top yeah. ten most awkward podcasts I've ever been in. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's talk. Uh, so, how was your childhood trauma? Well, it wasn't as bad as Kichi's. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, uh, being shipped with your second banana awkward. Like uh, how awkward are we talking here? Are well, you, you're there... really trying to drive this ship home, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, yes, I am. I will build this ship myself and set sail on it, motherfucker. Let's go, all aboard. I'm the captain. Have you seen uh the trailer to it? Uh, so, oh. Then let me ask you both a question. How does it feel to be taking money away from YouTube creators? Pretty darn good. <laughs> See, I was I was about to say uh, we squander away YouTube revenue by saying fuck the ads. I'm sorry. I'll I'll take away those two cents that YouTube will give the content creators for that one ad. Oh, how Thanks. dare you! Those two cents could go to like feeding their. I I commission as well as Patreon. I don't feel bad about it at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a traitor right. to my country. I keep YouTube from making its money. Hey, from a I person. I've commissioned once. Oh, oh, once. Oh, <laughs> oh, once. Oh, once. When you yeah. say you commissioned, she's like I art traded somebody once. <laughs> I signed a piece of paper. Here you go. <laughs> I'll have I'll have you know I paid good money for that picture of me staring at myself. Oh yeah. <laughs> How much money? Two cents. Twenty bucks. Oh, oh yeah, Molly that's does not really bad, good. Actually. Molly has really good prices. She did mine for free, but she has really good prices. And I'll have you know it got done in two hours. Oh so yeah, I'm no, not I'm, complaining. Yeah. I was literally in the call when she asked, and I was still in the call when she came back. Hey, it's done. I, I do think that we are potentially done now. Yes. Are we all set us? I'm, I'm going to end the call now. I, I know that when we got done at 26 minutes, I was like, 